fifteen thousand dollars. You are worth a lot. Hey guys, it's Evan and Jill, and today we are joined by a dad right here, EG, because he has something planned for us, right? A challenge, right? Yes, we are going to be doing a challenge called the Comic Book Challenge. Okay, I think this is kind of. <laughs> As you guys may know, Dad loves comic books. He like is a collector, basically. That's right. He gets all the old stuff. Ever since the Christmas video where we showed you guys this comic book right here, my prize possession, a lot of you guys have been asking to see the rest of the collection. So I thought it'd be fun if we made a little game out of it. So I've been collecting comics for over 30 years. These guys don't know too much about comics, but they do know some things about superheroes from the movies, right? So who's your favorite superhero? Spider-Man. Spider-Man for Evan, how about Wonder you? Wonder Woman, go woman! So I thought, you know, one day when I'm old. But you are old. <laughs> Just for that, you're getting something from the dollar bin. No! I am old. So when I'm an old man and I'm not into collecting comics anymore, uh, these comics are going to go to you guys. So I thought instead of waiting for that to happen, we're just gonna decide what you guys get now. Now you probably don't know what to look for in the comic book or what's valuable, so that's what's gonna make this challenge a little interesting. So I'm gonna put out 20 comics. You guys are each gonna select 10, okay. and then we're gonna total them up. Whoever has the most valuable collection, uh, maybe you can add this one to it. Ooh. Sound good? So those of you guys that are familiar with comics might know some of these books. So like a lot of things, comic values are based on supply and demand. So if a lot of people want the comic and it's rare, it's gonna have a higher price tag. The demand for a book depends on a couple things. First is the book itself. Did something important happen within the story? Is it a first appearance of a character? Maybe it's the first issue of a particular title, or maybe it features a popular artist or a writer. The second part of what makes a comic book desirable is the condition that it's in. Now all of these books have been professionally graded. So you send a raw comic book to a grading company, they examine it, and they give it a score from zero to 10. They then put the comic in a hard plastic case like this, which is also known as a slab. So today I'm letting you guys pick from 20 of my favorite comic books. These are all key issues, meaning that each one holds some importance in the comic book world. I'm just gonna let you guys pick and then we'll go over what makes these comic books special afterwards. We can only fit 12 right now on the table at one time. So this is batch number one. So I want you guys to play along at home and go ahead and select six comic books and then we'll see how you guys did at the end of the video. So how are we gonna figure out who goes first? Rose Shambo. Okay, I guess that works. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! No! Oh. Oh. Evan gets to go first. Which one look, is he gonna yeah, pick? So you probably think I'm gonna go for this one, right? No. Yeah, no. No? Okay, I'm gonna go for, I'm trying to think. Which one? one of these are pretty popular. I think, I think Iron Man would be kind of... It's the very first time he's in it, you know, in his suit. Wait, he's what's the, the grade? The grade is only a five, but... That's half, that's pretty good, I guess. Okay, Evan has his first book. Did he make a wise decision? <laughs> it is Jillian's turn, so let's see. You've got, yeah, you've got 11 comics here. Because it, So it says The Incredible Hulk, and now the Wolverine song thing is maybe like, First thing together, or like, first something, I don't know. Like okay. Something like that, maybe? And it looks pretty cool. And it's an 8.5. 8.5, so Jillian likes the high numbers. I'm gonna pick this one right here. Okay, he got the Avengers. The Avengers, because this is, you know, the very first Avengers, 6.0, has to be kinda good. I, I, I saw the signing, so. I don't know, that might be good. <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jill's going for the Spider-Man. Looks pretty cool. So I picked the Amazing Spider-Man because it's, it's half, so that's pretty good. And it has a sign something. Maybe so. some kid just wrote his name on there. <laughs> and that's why it's a five. Oh well. <laughs> oh, Hulk. Ooh. Ooh. 
the yeah, very Hulk. Yeah, I mean Hulk. I mean it's only a 4.5, but that might mean it's very old and it, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I like Hulk. Okay, I'm gonna take this one because it says introducing, so maybe it's a first and it's 6.5. Journey into Mystery 83. I'm gonna grab X-Men just because number one it's a 6.0. It also says first issue on but yeah. Okay, so that one looks cool. You like that one? Okay, we got a few more here. Here comes Dave. I want to pick this one because it says one. Okay, Jill, <laughs> Jill, Jillian saw it's a first issue. Here comes Daredevil number one. So it's a 6.0, so that's good. Now I'm just going to try to pick the ones that no one would buy, like this one. Like, it's not even a superhero. It's Prey Mantis. Attacking. Yeah, 6.5. So, okay, so what is that comic? What's it called? Hails to Astonish number 27. So Evan. Okay. it looks like a Evan. bunch of prey mantises and they're like ants eating at the gut. Evan, it says, it says Evan, wait, Evan, Evan. Mm -hmm. It says the value right there, 10 cents. Okay, right, so look it. We've got Superman, Iron Man, Fantastic Four. You guys don't want these? That looks too shiny. What? You don't think yeah. that it's high grade. 9.8. I want this one because okay. it looks like... Fantastic, what really do you I would have picked Iron Man. Says number one and it has a 4.5 so it might be oldish. It looks really cool. 4.5, huh? I'm going to pick Invincible Iron Man because, I don't know, he looks cool in, his new, in the suit that we know him in today. Okay, so Evan got Invincible Iron Man number one. He leaves me with Action Comics. June 1938, number one, I guess, so. All right, so Jill got Action Comics number one. If this isn't good, I, it's by default, because Evan chose. Okay, time for round two. So I'm gonna put down eight more books. You guys at home, go ahead and select four more books to put in your virtual collection. Which will you choose? <laughs> okay, and there you go. There are eight more. This time, since Evan went first in round one, I will let Jillian go first in round two. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what did you get there? Captain America, Cap in his own magazine at last. So this is probably like, like he's probably with other people usually, and this is his like solo comic. What's it gonna be? She's kind of getting her own movie. I am getting Captain Marvel. That one's called Marvel Superheroes, featuring Captain Marvel. Oh. 13. <laughs> Big premiere issue right here. <laughs> Jillian's all about the premiere issues. And it's an eight, and it's one, and it's okay. 25 cents. This is Silver Surfer number one. What's it gonna be? What's your next one? I am Groot. I can't do the, I can't do the voice. I want Groot. I don't care if it's rare or not, I just like Groot a lot. The Tales to Astonish. Groot, okay. Mm -hmm. This one? Captain America Lives Again. So this is The Avengers number four. All right, I'm gonna take Ghost Rider because I like skeletons. It's also an 8.5. Okay, we have two more left. What are you gonna choose for your last comic? Mm -hmm. This one. Introducing the sensational Black Panther. Maybe it's first appearance or something, because it's introducing. This is Fantastic Four number 52. And nobody wanted <laughs> Namor. Uh, is he like Aquaman's rejected brother? Okay, so now that you guys have each selected 10 comics, it is time to see the value. Okay, so for the first comic, Evan chose this one. I really weird. I thought he was red. He, he was looks like a war. real Iron Man. He was in the war and then he got stuck in a cave. And yeah, so if out. you guys <laughs> saw the original Iron Man movie, you might recognize this suit. This is Tales of Suspense, number 39. It is the first appearance of Iron Man. First appearance ever. It came out in March of 1963. So to see the value, we're going to use this website I go to called GPA analysis, and basically what it does is it tracks the recent sales of these comic books. And we're gonna take the 90 day average, that means all the sales in the last 90 days average together, and that's gonna give us the price that we're gonna go off of, okay? So for Tales of Suspense number 39, in a 
is seven thousand five hundred dollars. Oh, dang! Kevin's off to a good start here. Oh, one thousand dollars. You don't think that's that good? Okay. So Jillian's over here. She picked out this nice one. This is the Incredible Hulk number one hundred and eighty-one. This one came out in. November of 1974. It's not quite as old as Evans, but it is a very popular comic. It is the first appearance <gasps> of Wolverine. I was right. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. That's Greatest right. Showman. The Greatest Showman. Guy. <laughs> Incredible Hulk number 181 at an 8.5. Four thousand no! five hundred. You're saying no, but that's yeah, a lot of money. That's so. a lot of money. <laughs> so for comic number two, what did you select? Avengers. The um. Amazing Spider-Man was something. Okay, so Evan got the Avengers number one. Jillian got the Amazing Spider-Man number one. Both of these, if you guys will notice, are yellow labels, which means it's a signature series. And if you look right beneath the date, you'll see who it was signed Stanley. by. Stanley. The guy is in like almost every Marvel movie. He created Spider-Man, the X-Men, Fantastic Four, so he's a legend. Both of these comics are signed by Stanley. Which one is worth more? It's the mm -hmm. Avengers number one, signed by Stan Lee, in a 6.0, is worth six thousand oh! eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Ooh, that's more than another one. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Jillian had Amazing Spider-Man number one, signed by Stan Lee in a 5.0, and that one is worth thirteen thousand five hundred. Yeah! Okay, so for round two, it looks like Jillian made a comeback. Let's see uh, number three. Incredible. Journey into mystery. Okay, Jillian got Journey into mystery number eighty-three which is the first appearance of Thor. Oh, yes, I knew it. But I got the first appearance of Hulk. Yeah, Evan got the Incredible Hulk number one. Now who do the you first think issue of the Incredible Hulk, plus the first appearance of the Hulk. Okay, probably Evan. However, Jillian has that yellow label, so that means it was signed. It was? I don't see anything. Oh, wait. So this book right here wasn't signed on the cover. It was signed on the back, so it wouldn't detract from the art on the cover. And it was signed by three people, not just one person, three people. It was signed by Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, Stan Lee's brother, and Joe Sinnott, who was the inker. The Incredible Hulk, number one out of 4.5, is worth $15,400. Okay, Jill, are you ready to find your fate? Fate? That means bad, right? <laughs> no, it just means your future. Journey into Mystery, number 83, featuring the first appearance of Thor in a 6.5 with three signatures. $16,000. Yeah! You guys were pretty close on that one. This is worth 12 cents. What'd you guys get for your next one? Here comes Daredevil, number one. Okay, it's actually Daredevil, number one. Oh, uh, no, here comes the man with the Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Evan got the X-Men, number one. We both have number one. Which one do you guys think is worth more, Daredevil or X-Men? So the X-Men number one is worth $10,800. Oh, that's a lot. All right, so Daredevil number one at a 6.0 is worth $3,325. Still a lot of money for a comic book. Tales to Astonish. Yeah, Tales to Astonish number 27, the first appearance of Ant-Man. Oh, those were Ant-Man? Oh. Yeah, however, in this issue, Ant-Man doesn't wear his costume. He's just a man. Jillian got one. Fantastic Four number one. 4.5, it's a few less. Okay, 4.5 versus the 6.5. Okay, so Tales to Astonish number 27. At a 6.5, first appearance of Ant-Man is worth $7,300. Going over to Jillian's Fantastic Four number one at a 4.5, $15,000. Yay! $15,000. Oh, you are worth a lot. That used to be 10 cents. What's the next comic? 
My action comics. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. What? Loot Crate Edition? <laughs> oh! Hey, what's wrong with Loot Crate? We love Loot Crate. It's not authentic. 9.8. You graded it for you. Yeah, so if you guys remember from our Loot Crate video where Evan and I opened up two years worth of Loot Crate, if you haven't seen that, check it out. But we got this comic, and we got it graded, and it's actually almost a perfect copy. Action Comics number one, if you guys are familiar with comics, you'll know that is like the holy grail of comics. It's the first appearance of Superman. Unfortunately, this isn't the real Action Comics number one. An Action Comics number one in a 9.8, which doesn't exist, would be probably, I don't know, over $4 million. It's almost a perfect copy, but it's not the original, and that one is worth a hundred and twenty-five dollars. hundred? Evan got Iron Man number one. However, you see this purple label right here? Yes. That means it was restored. <laughs> that means somebody <laughs> took a damaged comic and tried to fix it and make it look better. So I bought this comic when I was a little kid and it was my prized possession. And then I got it graded and I found out that it was restored which lowers the value. It would have been about $500 if it wasn't restored, but since it's a restored copy, it's $350. No! It's Captain America versus Captain Marvel. This one is Marvel Superheroes number 13. It's the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain America 100 is almost like Captain America 1, because prior to issue 100, it was called Tales of Suspense. Evan's Marvel Super Heroes 13 in an 8.0 is worth $1,600. Jillian's Captain America number 100 at a 9.0 is worth $820. What? What? I thought you were gonna say 8,000. Silver Surfer, for me or issue. Okay, Jillian got Silver Surfer number one. Evan got Tales to Astonish number 13, the first appearance of Groot. But it's not the Groot that we know and love from Guardians of the Galaxy, because look, he actually talks. Behold, I am Groot. No, it's I am Groot, I am Groot, <laughs> I yeah. am a Groot. Tales to Astonish number 13 in a 5.0 is $2,900. Jillian Silver Surfer number one in an 8.0 is $1,100. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. A little That's still under a lot. On that one, yeah. That's still a lot. Okay, so Evan got Marvel Spotlight number five, the first appearance of Ghost Rider. Jillian got Avengers number four, which is actually the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Marvel Spotlight number five in an 8.5 is worth $1,500. All right. Jillian's Avengers number four in a 6.5 is worth $1,925. Yes! yes! All right, final one. I don't think this one's gonna be that great. Evan thinks he got Aquaman's brother, but it's actually <laughs> Prince Namor, the Submariner, who actually is older than Aquaman. $340. Okay, I was expecting not that much. And Jillian got Fantastic Four number 52, 7.0, which is the first appearance of the Black Panther. Yes, I knew it. $1,200. Yeah! You guys surprised to see how much these comics are worth? Yeah. yeah. I have the results here. So the total, Evan, for you is $54,440. Oh! I could buy a lot of V-Bucks for that. Jillian. Your total is $57,495. So surprisingly, you guys are really close. Like somebody could have walked away with all the high dollar books and someone could have got stuck with, you know, the action comics number one. Yeah, so you guys are not selling these comics. You're, you're gonna give them to your kids. You guys must promise that. I swear. Unless there was a medical emergency, then you can sell them. For, you Thank well, you. Well, for, not yet, not yeah, yet. For, not for, for right now, they're still my books. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get them yet. So how did you guys do at home? Did you guys calculate your total? If so, leave it in the description down below. We want to know what you guys got. 
So I guess you get to add this to your collection, huh? Ooh, yes. So if you guys like this and you want to see the Spider-Man version, uh, make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to see more comic book videos, maybe we'll start a new series on this channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.